industry, the, the giant TCS, India's largest IT company, has now seen a change of guard. Ram Odarai is the outgoing CEO and he has largely handed over the reins to Chandrasekharan. But what next for the company and the man who led it? Here's a report. It's the last round of meeting and greeting the press for S. Ramadurai as the CEO of the largest Indian IT company, Tata Consultancy Services. He is now hands-off from day-to-day -day operations, but hands-on as far as long-term strategy for the company in his new role of vice chairman on the board. This could be in the areas of uh, brand building, in the areas of uh, innovation, in the areas of mentoring and nurturing talent. Lots of work lined up for Ramudurai, especially in a downturn when his experience of over three decades in the company will be needed like never before. He has been the understated but a very successful leader, something that can bring about the perfect balance with the new CEO and Chandrasekharan, who is known for his aggressive style of functioning. Is this recovery going to bring back the old ways of um, companies spending money on their... Uh, transformational spends or it's going to be lower than before. We believe that the latter is true. It may not be business as usual in terms of spend in the past. And specifically, which are the sectors that are going to show promise or showing promise are definitely the uh, BFSI or uh, retail or utilities or life sciences and manufacturing and uh, telecom are still of um, worry. Areas like uh, green, green IT, that's definitely of uh, importance. Sustainability is a journey all of our clients will ask for. We are investing fairly well. Speculation was rife that Ramu Darai will take on a larger group role in Tata Sons or engage with the government, like Nanda Nilikane. But clearly, Ratan Tata wanted his old trusted hands to do what they do best in Ramu Darai's case, stay with TCS and help the company weather the downturn. In Bangalore, Mokshita Batra, NDTV Profit.